All right, welcome back to The Jump. The Magic also held their media day on Monday. Markel Fultz was asked about missing almost a full year of basketball because he'd also missed, well, we know how it's been. Take a listen. If you ask anybody what's the thing they love the most and ask them what, how does it feel to be taken away from you, um, it, it's tough. Uh, I just wanted to go out there. If I had no arms, I would still want to play basketball. I mean, it's just something about having something that you love being taken away from you that's that's different. So now that I got it back, I, I don't take anything for granted, and I'm just I'm glad to be out there. Markel said that he hopes to play Saturday in Orlando's first preseason game, and Scotty GM there said he's got no restrictions. He's just going to be part of the team this year. Um, what do you think it's going to be like for him now that he physically feels he can come back to know that every time he shoots the ball, there's going to be 18 people looking at him being like, how is his form? Did it go in? All that stuff. Well, I, I think it's going to be a difficult challenge for him. Um, being in this league, you have to be able to shoot the basketball or you have to be able to score the basketball. So he have to figure that out and we haven't seen him really master or show signs of being good at either one. It's going to be tough. Uh, it's a lot of pressure. You can practice on your shot all summer in the gym twice, three times a day. It doesn't matter. There's no one in the stands. Right. When you fill the stands up and the clock and the score, all that matters. It puts a little more added pressure on you, and I, I think it's going to be difficult for him to think he's just going to flip a switch and be the player that he was in college. Um, he's 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 going to have a pretty good journey, but I, I like his attitude, and I, I definitely think that he can get there. But I think he needs to take a page count kind of out of Rondo's book. Mm -hmm. Rondo was a player that came in this league, couldn't shoot the basketball, mm -hmm. played with some superstars who could really score the basketball, and he was able to find his niche and find his expertise in the, in, the, in the game around those players. And I think he's going to be a player very similar to what Rondo has brought to our game. So I think the fact that he's even talking about this is a big step forward. Because when he was in Philadelphia, like he was almost off limits. Like You couldn't even ask him questions about what was going on with the shot, how, where his health was, when was he coming back. He, he owned that, and he was in front of the cameras and stand there. he stood there like a man talking about this, and that tells you something when you're dealing with, one, he had an injury, the thoracic outlet syndrome, and, but then two, there was obviously some psychological issues going on with the shot, right? There was a, there was a confidence issue. Um, just watching those replays is painful. Mm -hmm. So for him to even be able to acknowledge that, I think is a step forward. I'm rooting for him because I, I hate seeing that in any sport. I do think, I mean, I think that's the bottom line. I think everyone in the league wants to see this kid yeah. succeed. A comeback story, everyone loves that. He's a number one overall pick. Yeah. Let's see him go out and try to do it this year. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports analysis and highlights, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.